here's the lever that we modeled for this and I wanted to show you something just with respect to the back before we get started uh, in case this was being pushed against a wall this is how it would look and maybe if it had that box on it uh, it would look like this I'm not going to worry about that stuff right now we're just going to uh, we're just going to texture this thing all right so we're going to go into the UV editor and select everything okay like this you smart UV project I'm going to choose an island margin of 0 0.003 and there it is you can just use uh, blender for this or you can use UV pack master or something like that I'm just going to pack it and we're done we're going to export that okay there's the lever I'm going to bake the mesh maps I'll bake them at 2k and I'll turn off ID okay we're going to do this real simple on the out I'm going to choose a material I'm going to choose metal come down I think I'll use this steel rust I'm going to drop that there and the only thing I really want to do is I want to make it a little bit less rough like that and then we grab this rust and this rust we're going to drop those in I'm going to add a black mask to both of those and on this bottom one I'm going to put a smart mask of dirt ground and on this one I'm going to put dirt dry leak and I like that effect I think I'm going to stick with that for now so I'm going to copy all three of these copy those layers and put them on the inside paste so we have that now let's go on and do the next part I'm going to add a fill layer and I'm going to switch this to just um, just height and raise that up a little bit and come to my procedurals and I'm going to take this circles and drop that on there and then come up to the scale and I'm going to put it to say 12 and I now have that pattern on the inside that I said I wanted to have okay back over to the other layer the out layer here I'm going to add a regular paint layer and this one is going to have color and height color is going to be white and the height I'm going to drop down and for that I want to put some text on there I'm going to switch to orthographic so you can use a, a predetermined alpha or a, you know a word that there are a few words in here but I created the word off in a way that I like so I'm going to add that so I've just found the PNG that I want so I'm going to open I'm going to put it as an alpha in the in this project and there it is I'm going to double click on that and I'm going to scale it up to the size that I want and I'm just going to click and it's there and then the only thing is that it looks a little uh, different it doesn't look as, as, as grunged up as the rest of this so I'm gonna work on that so I'm gonna rename this layer here again off and I'm gonna drag it below these other layers and nothing much has really changed but I want to have some of this rust on there and the way that we do that is using anchor points essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna tell this layer to be related to these other ones so I'm going to click here and I'm going to choose add an anchor point and this is going to name it the same as the layer it's called off I'm going to come up here to this mask and find this I guess this generator here and I'm going to go into the properties for that and if I scroll down a little bit there's a section here called micro details and these are both switched on if, if ever you get do the effect and it doesn't quite work, make sure these are turned on or the one that you want. Anyhow, we're gonna use height because we used an alpha. Later, we're gonna use a normal as well. So this is already turned on. Then you scroll to the very bottom and down here, click on whichever one is appropriate. Again, this is an alpha, so we're dealing with height. So we're gonna click that. And then here we can choose the anchor point. So now we, the two layers are talking to each other. But I then have to go to the channel and choose height. And you can see there's been a change already all right so this layer is now talking with this layer I'm also going to do the same with this one I'm going to choose this and that other part should be turned on already so I probably just have to click here and choose that anchor point and now we have that effect but I want to switch this to height 
I'm going to come back and make a small adjustment on this one under the levels and I'm going to drag this a little bit over and as I do that some of that white comes back so just cho just choosing a spot and you can play around with these until you get the effect that you that you want all right so I've got some of that text in there And I can do the same on this one. I can look at this and decide maybe I want that. So I still see a little bit of that. Okay, I want to do one more thing uh, on this um, in this stack of layers here. I'm going to add another uh, just a regular paint layer, and I'm going to switch that to just normal. I'm going to alt click normal, so I have just the normal channel, and I'm going to come to my hard surfaces or normals, scroll down a little and it's this one right here this is bolt i'm going to pull that in and as i do come over here i still see the word off so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come up here and turn off that alpha now i just see the screw i'm going to scale it down turn on symmetry and let's snap that in and make it a decent size and i'm going to click because i want bolts in there something like that is fine with me I'm going to do the same kind of thing. So I'm going to call this screw. I'm going to pull this down below the two rough, uh, rust layers. And I'm going to add an anchor point. Notice it's called screw. So I can come back up to here. Click on this. Okay. Uh, it's it's most likely it's turned on up here. I think we already saw that. This is, where is it? Under micro details, micro normal is true. So I'm going to come down to this one here, micro normal and choose screw and under the reference channel choose normal this time you can see the effect on there and I'm gonna come up to here and in micro normal choose that anchor point of screw and under micro normal choose normal and we've done it let's go back to perspective view let's hit tab and there is my there's my lever texture all right and that's it so we've done another lever we've modeled it we textured it and we are done we'll move on to something else thanks for watching